So um, I love that you led into this next topic with the most with, with the most or the least secure operating systems, because the what I wanted to highlight is that a count of vulnerabilities is meaningless. Yeah. Um, yeah. There was a, a venture beat had an article uh, and actually a neat table. You want to click that link, Leo, and bring okay. up the whole chart. Uh, titled Software with the Most Vulnerabilities in 2015, Mac OS X, iOS, and Flash. And sure enough, if you look at the, and we often talk about the CVE numbers, the Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures, that's from the National Vulnerability Database where, where vulnerabilities are registered uh, as they are found. So, you know, sure enough, Mac OS X, is it leads the pack at 384 iPhone uh, or the you know iOS at is number 2 at 375 flash player actually i would say this one is more deserved uh, number in the third place at 314 but to give you a sense for why just a number is meaningless open ssl which has been the source of you know massive scurrying all over is way down the bottom at 34. So it's not the number. It's the fact that, for example, in the case of OpenSSL, they were doozies. I mean, they right. were industry right. grind to a halt, right. run around All with you your really hair on is fire. One really bad one, right? Exactly. Yeah. And so it is the case. You know, I mean, here's Apple tweaking their software and and fixing problems. I would argue none of which have been you know, like none of those 384 were as bad as any one of the Flash right. Player 314. You know, every one of the Flash Player uh, vulnerabilities was really, you know, remote code execution by visiting a web page sort of problem. Whereas Mac, you know, the, the the Apple stuff is like, oh yeah, we found some stuff that somebody, you know, privately reported and we fixed it. So in some you ways, know. you're penalized in this list if you are forthright yes. about the problems. Yes. Because the number, the number, I presume that number ultimately comes from the company, right? Um, so yes, it, it 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 is the. The company registering vulnerabilities right. uh, with the National Vulnerability Database. The other thing that's misleading, if you scroll down a little bit from where you are, is like the Windows versions. They show like all these vulnerabilities all with up. Windows, yeah. except we know that they're all the same vulnerability. Right. You know, right. so it's one problem that is across all of the, the, the common code base of these. Right. And Windows so, 10, which is fairly low on the list, number 35 with 53 vulnerabilities, it's brand new. So... Right. Uh, it was only out for uh, five months of the year. so it Well, and remember that they didn't rewrite Windows. Yeah. I mean, it's, they gave it a new sugar coating. But ba basically, it's the same Windows. You know, you just keep seeing the same dialogues after, after you drill down right. a couple layers of the frou-frou UI. It's like, oh, yeah, there's the actual dialogue that I've had since XP. So, so you know, Windows 10 gets is, is basically has the advantage of the maturity of of the code base, and it's all the new things they've added that have the problems. The you know the, the bulk of the code is still you know is now be becoming you know more time tested. Right. So I just sort of I wanted to put a little reality check on the fact that just you know a number of vulnerabilities. I mean, if they're trivial, we're fixing this because we you know we can, as opposed to open SSL. Oh my God, we this has been out there for six years and it's it exposed everybody there. Oh, the other thing with open SSL is notice that it's a library that is that has been cr that has massively cross-platform. So it's being blamed uh, for it, it. I mean, it shows 34 vulnerabilities, but all of the Linux distributions we're using this vulnerable version of OpenSSL, and but you know they're not counting independently the OpenSSL vulnerability, even though this is a library. So, anyway, the the the, the numbers are sort of interesting, but really need to be taken with a grain of salt. And so, you know, a headline that says, you know, Mac OS X had the most vulnerabilities is like, uh, okay, but Flash did the most damage. 
And so yeah. I, I think yeah. it's, you know, an open SSL arguably. It'd be hard to measure that, though. I mean, it'd be hard to have, make a chart of, you know, who who was the most vulnerable or whatever. Yeah. I mean, right? Do you, I, mean, yeah. I don't know. Only the NSA has that. Yeah, they, know. It, they know. They, they, they're, <laughs> they're using it.